Hi, Peter from Callouts here. Uh, Black Friday and Cyber Monday is just around the corner and I wanted to put together a short tutorial for you showcasing a few of our assets and how to use them in Canva to create an ad for Black Friday. So let's dive into the magic. Okay, so here we are in Callouts and here are some of our Black Friday and Cyber Monday creative background graphics. So I will just pick one here to use in Canva and I am very fond of this one. Uh, I think it's a simple but still impactful uh, graphic to use. Uh, so I'm going to download it here. I'm already logged in. If you're logged in, you can access all the assets directly. And then I'm gonna drag it out to my desktop. I already had it there. So I have it easily accessible and not in the download folder. And we're heading over to Canva and let's create a new design. So we'll start with a custom size and we can do it thousand times thousand pixels. Nice square format. And there we have our new empty template. So now I'm just gonna drag in the image and drop it on top here. And for some reason, Canva always makes it a little bit smaller, uh, even though the original here is actually, let me check the properties of it. The file is 1024 times 1024, so it's actually a slightly larger than this. Uh, now, we can use it as a graphic and resize it, but as we're going to use the whole part of it, instead we can directly resize it to cover the full background by right-clicking and setting the image as a background. So there. Now, it fills the entire screen. I mean, there are other things you can do if you like. Uh, let's move it to the side a little bit. Uh, we have elements here. Uh, we have some fun elements. Uh, if we wanted rounded corners, for example. Something like that. Now, I don't think you can drag it and drop it directly this way because it's actually behind, but I can drag it from the outside and in again. And, no. If I mark this one and then I drop it in to, no, there, boom. <laughs> I don't know how that happened, but very exciting. Uh, so, that's one way of doing it. But let's get rid of this one and this one and again make it the full size there we have it so i wasn't planning to do much with this one i just wanted to show you how you quickly can create a campaign and just want to add a text above a text below and change the colors of this slightly we can start with changing the colors first so you have a bunch of options in canva uh, just marking it here and you have effects uh, which kind of you, you you have some control over them where you can add more or less of it uh, but I'm gonna cancel out of this one and instead use the adjustments and I want it to be a little bit of a blue purple style so I'm going to tint this layer a little bit to something that I like. So we have green. There we go, some purple blue there. And find it a little bit dark for what I want to do now. So I'm just going to brighten it up slightly. If you increase the contrast, it's going to darken again. But you will also see the edges more clear. So we're going to add a little bit of that. And if you're happy with the color, you can leave the saturation if you want a little bit more. But as this one, because this image was black, the saturation slider doesn't really do much here. 
So let's set that back to zero. Okay, so there we have the colors that we want. Now let's add the text and then we simply go to the text area and I can either use these pre-made text templates or I can use the regular standard text. And in this case, we're gonna just have simple text. So, come check out our, so, come check out our Black Friday sale. And there you see they are a little bit far apart. So we're marking all of it and we have it under here. We'll set the line height to 4.9 perhaps. There we go. And then I move it down. Instead of dragging it, uh, I'm using the cursor keys. I can hold down shift and move it 10 steps. Or I can let go of shift and you just move it one pixel at a time. So something like there. Now we want to maybe have this one sticking out a little bit. So we're just going to add a little shadow on, on it there. There we have the shadow and but we still want a black shadow because this is kind of a dark shadow. So we're picking the color. Let's go for a dark color. Now you, you don't see it much but it it gives a little bit of an effect. Um, so, quite happy with that. Now we want to say a little bit about what the sale is about. And then I like this font. So I could try to look for it up here or I could just use this one directly. So I drop that one and it's already white. So I'm gonna get rid of that one. So I press delete. So I only have the cheers text left. And we're going to put it, what font size did we have here? We had 70. Let's see what happens if we go with 70 here. 72. That's a little bit small. So let's put it 104. And so for the Black Friday sale, we want to offer our creative assets. So there you go. That's how long it took to create a campaign. We could fine tune this all day long, but I'm quite happy with it. Maybe something like that. So share. So that's it for this tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out. And please do check out our Black Friday and Cyber Monday creative assets and all other assets. Uh, Callouts members have access to all assets, as you know. So stay tuned for more creative assets and more tutorials. Thank you so much.